my cat keeps staring into one of my home interior prints and I may have taken it way too far last night with trying to figure out if there was something attached. So I do want to apologize in advance. Typically I have at least an outline written out for my YouTube videos and I have nothing here. Um, I'm just going to be talking to you guys like we're on FaceTime. So expect a lot of jump cuts and a lot of just me rambling because this is just me chatting. I did post a video on TikTok kind of like I think it was five or so days ago whenever I noticed that my cat was staring into this painting. So I am gonna go through all of that that I already said. So if you've seen that on TikTok, you can skip ahead to this timestamp or if you wanna rehear it, that's awesome too. But here's where it all started. Here's where it all started going wrong. So lining the wall of my stairs, I have put up a bunch of different home interior paintings and things like that that I've found from estate sales and Goodwills and thrift stores. Well, my husband and I are about to paint our stairs and we want to line them instead with like artwork that we've collected at these horror conventions that we've been going to. So we're taking them all down and we had them stacked up in a pile in my living room up against the wall waiting for someone who wants them. Well, my mom comes over one day and she takes all but two prints. She left a canvas painting of the Eiffel Tower and she left this one specific home interior painting. I'll insert a picture. Um, she said that she did not like the energy that this picture gave. She said the little girl's eyes looked weird and it gave her a bad feeling. I immediately was like, girl, that has been in my house for minimum four years and I have never in my life felt anything bad from it. And she was like, I'm sorry, I can't take that one. So she left that along with the Eiffel Tower painting. Well, this painting was at the back of the stack. So now it is front and center. It was waiting for someone to come get it that wanted it because I don't want them. From the first night that this painting was front and center, one specific cat that I have named Brewer would sit in front of this painting and just stare. It looked like he was staring out of the window of the painting. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if it's bright and he's seeing reflections, if it's dark and there's no way he can see a reflection, if it's moved. No, it's no matter what, he is at this painting at night. It mostly happens at night. Because at first I was like, oh, it's definitely his reflection. And then I saw him do it in the dark. I came downstairs, it was dark down here, and he was just staring into this painting or print. This is not Brewer's first time doing this. I have a very haunted painting. Um, it is a copy of Little Irene. She's confirmed very haunted. And he will sit and stare at that painting for hours. So I don't know if we have a little art connoisseur on our hands or if he can just see beyond things and is just very susceptible to paranormal experiences. I'm going with the latter, to be quite honest with you. So a lot of people on TikTok had different ideas um, they told me to maybe take it out of the frame, see if something was behind it or written on it. All kinds of suggestions. So I took them all into consideration. I sat down on the floor last night, set up my tripod, and got to work. I am going to insert all of the footage that I captured at the end of this video, but I kind of just want to walk you through what happened as well first, if that's okay, because it was a lot and it continued into this morning. My husband took the back off of this painting and took just the print out of the frame because we were wanting to see if he would still look just in the print when there's no frame, no type of reflection, no nothing like that. So we took it out, we propped it up against the wall and within three minutes, that cat was looking into that picture. Granted, he did not sit and stay like he usually does. And I took that as it was definitely the reflection. He was some, somehow still seeing it in the dark and it was the reflection. But I was like, I'm gonna sit here and still film because what if? The energy in our house soon shifted. Um, cats started fighting. It was just a not great situation. And then I decided that I was gonna use my Spirit Talker app and prop it up against this picture to see if anything came through. And boy, did stuff come through. I am still on the fence about whether or not I think the Spirit Talker app works. I believe it more than the others. I've had some weird experiences with it, but last night it was just a lot. Um, we got a lot of weird things that came through. I think the most horrifying thing personally for me that came through um, it popped up on the app, um, I don't want to scare you. 
and I said out loud, you don't scare me. And you can hear clear as day a mumble whisper. Like it sounds like a fast talker whispered. Um, I can't make out anything it says. I'm hoping someone will see this and can. But yeah, I mean, it was a lot. Weird sounds could be heard throughout. Um, pretty soon after we started using that app, um, I heard a tap on the wall, like the wall that the um, picture was leaning up against. And I was like, oh, it's probably the neighbors. Although I've never heard them knock. I was like, it's probably the neighbors. But out loud, I was like, was that you? Can you knock again if it was? And they knocked again. And you could hear the knocking and the whispers throughout the entire thing. So those were the big things that happened. There's a lot more. Um, I think once I edited it all down, because I didn't keep all of the just like silent staring at the picture on there, because I filmed for about an hour and a half. But I think I shaved off around an hour and I think it's 30 minutes of footage that's going to be at the end of this. Anyways, we wrap that up. We go to bed and the picture is where it has been for over a week. Everything's fine. Well, my husband wakes up this morning for work, comes downstairs to make himself a coffee, and the picture has fallen down. The cats definitely could have done it. Anything could have happened, but I don't understand how it didn't happen before. We put it back up the exact same way. Because my husband put the picture back in the glass last night and put it back. So why wouldn't it have fallen before if it was like not sturdy? You know what I mean? So I don't know. I am on the fence about keeping this picture. I still don't feel anything from it. Now I feel like kind of scared of it because of what happened last night, but I don't feel any energy. And if I feel anything, I don't feel anything negative. So I don't see a reason in like getting rid of it out of fear. But um, yeah, I will see. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. I've had a few people reach out wanting it. And if I decide I don't want it and I find the right home for it, I definitely will do that. But yeah, it's um, we'll see. It's weird stuff, but um, without further ado, here is all of that footage and I hope you have a blast watching it. Ooh. Hey Gigi. Where's that? It's a moth. Where'd it come from? <laughs> I have no idea, man. We haven't been outside in a little Ew. while. Ew! No, that's creepy. <laughs> Oof. It ain't, like, it didn't come out of here. No, it didn't. I haven't even opened it yet. Oh my god, what if there is bugs? I doubt it. I mean, okay. they, they would have came out by now already. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Be real gentle on my bear fall along the edge. Sticky. Came off so clean. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Question, my bad. Question mark. <laughs> Ooh, these are tough. It's fine. Like you said, we can get me back in. Okay. Uh, I might be able to glue that back on. You think so? Yeah. I have to do with the screwdriver because they're like really st stiff for some reason. I think it's probably really old. I was going to do some research on the picture after I do this. Are you? Yeah. I think it's an old home interior painting. Like a brand home interior? Or yeah. Um, which one? I forget when they stopped making the stuff, but I feel like it was in the 2000s, right? I know we had a lot of home interior stuff in my house when I was growing up. Oh, okay. You can do this. Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, heck. What's the matter with you, Pira? <laughs> One more. Come here, PC baby. So it doesn't look like anything's on the back of it. Here, here, I got you. How do you want to do it? Here, here, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. 
I want that glass cracking guy. I was gonna have rid of what it is. The name at the bottom. A Searing. Okay, so I was going to put this back up over here and see if he still stares at it. Ouch. He's just watching us over there? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Might put a little bit behind the other painting. Thank you. That way it doesn't fall forward. I mean, it's not like it's outside, it looks at it anyway. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I just wanna like test some stuff out on it. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at him. He's like, I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it record for a while. Ew. What? I got a little whiff of something. It smells like something's rotting. I don't smell anything. Ew. He's looking at the back of it, where he was. right to it yeah but he didn't seem to stare at it no but he was sniffing around it and behind it yeah but he keeps going to the back of it like the back that's on the chair is there anything written on it or anything no nothing at all the only thing i saw of writing was on um, the name of the artist It's creepy that he's doing this because he used to, if he still does it, sit and stare at Irene. Yeah. Like, I don't know if we just have an art connoisseur on our hands or if he can just tell when something's weird. An art connoisseur. Or are you just staring? I'm just examining it. I've never really actually sat down and looked at it. So whenever I see him looking at it, it looks like he's looking out of the window of the barn. Yeah. I'm gonna look up while it's doing that some stuff on it. Yeah, I think I'll like scratch it up here. Screenshot of the name of it, but it's on my phone. There's like a Serwin or something like that. Serwin, S E H. Look at A dot S E H. All these artists. Which one is this one? Mine? Yeah. It had him from this. I 
trying to sell it. I was just curious. No, I know. I just wonder what its value goes for. Is that better? I can't see it just because of like the um, mouth, but um, yeah, you, you'll still be able to see it. Okay. Is there anyone in here who would like to communicate with us? Can I ask you a question before you go? Can I ask if you have anything to do with the artwork that I just took out of the frame? Can you tell me if you have any attachment to the artwork that I just took out of a frame? Why is still alive? Are you still here? I mean, is it possible that whenever we opened up, whenever we opened up that frame, we let something go? Maybe yeah. that was attached? Oh, possibly. my name is Michael. <clears throat> Okay. Hi, Michael. Um, are you attached to this artwork? Thank you for staying and talking to us. tapping is it you that was tapping on the wall just now was that not my neighbors did you hear the tapping too i didn't hear it but I, I, was over, I was on the other side of the room so i wonder if that called it i wonder if the camera called it i heard a little tapping but i just thought it was the neighbors can you tap on the wall again if that was you Was that you? Could you tap a little bit louder if that was you, please? Can you tap on the wall again? Oh gosh, that, Pete. <laughs> that was the carpet, Pete.
Could you tap on the wall again for us? Elmer. Elmer. That's another name. Are there multiple of you? Do you want to tap on the wall again for us? Well, because you can tap with that on my bed. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. We appreciate your contribution. <laughs> oh my gosh. What does it say? I hate it. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Are you at peace now? Are you at peace now? Do you still want to talk? Sarah. Someone's already coming right now. I wonder if there's more of them, like just like several of them, or maybe the thing's a beacon, like a portal. Yeah. I wonder if it is. I wonder. I'm curious about something. Isn't that crazy. Look at the window of the barn. Yeah. Wasn't there a fence in the back, a house in the background? No. No, there's never a house, I don't think. Why do you remember a house? Like right where the fence is. Like you can kind of look at the window and you can see a trail. Mm -hmm. And then on the trail at the end, to the right, there's a fence, to the left, there's trees. I could have sworn not only were those trees fell down, but that there was a house. I never really looked close enough at it to know for sure. Do you remember a house? I mean,. Vaguely, but I could have just been seeing things. Whistle. Just gonna go let it do its thing and see what happens. I thought maybe if I put it up, like. Right beside of it. Yeah, maybe. You know what we could also do? Put the frame in there. Yeah. He's still on the roof. I got you. Here, I'll just, um...
That's good, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. I wish you would get one Okay. I mean, he's like staying really close by and he immediately went all the way. Yeah. See, it's just there's been so many different names I just don't really know if like what corresponds with what you know right You can zoom out though. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, perfect. Am I sitting on your foot? There you go. So Brewer was staring at the window and a lot of people in the comments oh, said dude. Yeah, a lot of people in the comments said we do Trump. I was gonna take a picture of it, but never mind. No, it's okay. Um, a lot of people in the comments were saying that the window fell off. And mm. I mean you were just talking about it too. I've been getting a ton of energy from the window. Yeah. Okay. Don't go upstairs. No. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm debating on like going live right now, but I might just keep doing this and then post it all. So yeah, a few of these like, so whenever it started off, I was like, okay, I must go now. My first thought was, okay, so we opened up the picture, maybe someone was trapped somehow and we let him go, but, which I mean still could be the case because and there's just a lot of different different entities coming through at least a lot of different like names disaster hmm. it's just hard to like decipher i guess what's going on because i feel like there's so many different people talking there was a few people in the comments of my last video where I was talking about it that said they got the feeling that the picture was maybe a portal. Um, can portals just randomly be on like copies of like artwork though? You okay, Brew? You okay, Brennan?
You're not scared of me. It's weird. Um, as soon as my husband stepped out of the room, it started talking more. <laughs> the tape booster. You okay, buddy? Stairs. So I initially said that like, whenever my husband left, um, he started talking more, but now that I'm thinking about it and now that I'm watching like this, it picked up talking a lot more whenever Brewer came close. Now it's kind of like few and far between, but I'm definitely thinking more and more that this could be some sort of portal, but I, I mean, can portals just be, I guess they can be, they're just like anywhere. It's just kind of weird for it to be in a random copy of a home interior painting. Which I've heard a lot of people say that they had this specific home interior artwork in their like childhood home and stuff and it had weird energy. So I'm not sure. Yeah, Brewer is um, I'm trying to turn. He's out there on the couch. Still hasn't left the room. <coughs> Not sure what that means.
I'm probably gonna go ahead and turn that off in a second, but um, and I'll probably just post this whole clip tomorrow. How is that? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. Oh, that beat. Okay. Thank you for talking. Goodbye. <sighs> I turned off. It was kind of weird. Here's everything that was said. I don't know. It was strange. I'm gonna be analyzing that for the rest of the night. Alright.